Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley, and today I'm going to talk about Shadow Hunters. Now, I had already made a video on this, but for some reason my webcam didn't transfer over the video or whatever. So, I have to remake another one and basically say everything that I just said. Um, so, Shadow Hunters is based on the Mortal Instrument book series. Um, which they had made into a movie. It was a good movie. It had Jonathan Reese Myers and Lena Headey in it. So obviously it had an all-star cast. And um, the movie didn't do as good as the studio had hoped, so they made it into a TV show on Freeform. So now that we got the gist of it out of the way, um, the first season was very much just okay. Um, it was painful at times to continue watching, but thank the gods that I did because the second season was dramatically better than the first season. Um, when I was watching season one, some of the casting choices and, and special effects and stuff were very questionable at best. <clears throat> and then... They uh, progressed just enough for me to finish um, the season. And so, y you know, the first season was okay and finished off on a good note. So I uh, watched, obviously, the second season. And it was dramatically better than the first season um, in every way. The acting, the story, the special effects, everything um, was so much better than the first season, and it was so much more enjoyable. <clears throat> and I think that they bumped the episode count up, too. And, excuse me. Um, yeah. Um, and then... They came out with the third season, which they announced was the final season. And then they had to uh, order to a two-hour event for their series finale because they were originally going to end off on a cliffhanger and thank the gods that they didn't because that would have been awful. Um, and it was a very satisfying ending. Um... Obviously, they could they could have continued it, but um, they canceled it. So and so they came up with an ending that all fans should be happy with because it was very satisfying. It was a very good ending. Uh, the third season was so enjoyable to watch. Um, it had so much more emotional impact. It had the special effects and storytelling and acting was so much better than. Even the second season and the obviously the first season, but um, so the big so with all of these good things with it continuing and becoming really good or whatever is the fact that um, they canceled it after three seasons, so <sighs> sorry guys, I'm tired today. Um. So, Freeform, it's not very brilliantly managed. So, Freeform literally has two great shows, and that's it. It has Siren, and it has Shadowhunters. Um, there's a lot of poor decision-making, um, because, first of all, um, Freeform should be more like the CW in every single way. In fact, Shadowhunter should have been a CW show, in my opinion. Um, they would have taken it to leaps and bounds over even the theatrical movie that they had made. Um, Freeform for some reason does is not didn't have a US Netflix deal which I think is their second biggest mistake their biggest mistake not um, releasing Siren or Shadowhunters on Blu-ray for fans to buy physical copies with now 
if they would have done that. There, could you imagine how much income and how much the Freeform Network would have thrived if even half of the very passionate Shadowhunters fan base were to have bought season one or any of the seasons for $15 on DVD or $20 on Blu-ray. Um, <clears throat> I think that it is, was an awful mistake and poorly managed. Um, they should definitely be in a box set, especially now that they are um, done with the series. I think that the CW should have picked up the um, show. Um, in my honest opinion, it should have been a CW show. Uh, look at what they did with Supernatural. Supernatural is running 15 seasons. Vampire Diaries, 8 seasons. Arrow, 8 seasons. Um, and they're all about fan service. And um, Supergirl, it's going on 5 seasons. The Flash, going on 6 seasons. Like... And um, they do 22 episodes a season, and even with their, because their shows, especially some of the new ones that are even way lower ranking than Shadowhunters was, that have been renewed. And because the CW is intelligent and manages their business as well, they put those... Uh, low rating shows or low lower viewership shows onto Netflix where it's a streaming giant and introduces m millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people that are able to be introduced that's maximum exposure right there um, and for some reason, Freeform pretty much only believes in streaming. Well, streaming, I'm sorry, but I like to have physical copies of uh, my shows. I buy everything on Blu-ray, and um, I'm not going to sit on a computer or whatever and hope that I have internet service or whatever that it's fast enough and not glitchy to where I'm going to be streaming your shows and stuff. No. And I don't like watching commercials, so there's that. Um, it Freeform just makes terrible decisions. The best decision that it's made, other than renewing Siren for a third season, is giving a two-hour um, series finale to Shadowhunters to wrap up everything up enough to make it satisfying. <laughs> for the fans. <clears throat> um, but the Freeform should manage itself more like the CW. I don't know what to say. The CW is managed even better than big networks like Fox and everything. Um, it has variety and it cares about its fans, obviously. And um, it gives its shows, whether they're old or new, the maximum exposure, the, mo the, the most extensive maximum exposure that all of their shows can possibly get. They are, first of all, they air on the CW. They air on the CW app, which is completely free, and you don't have to have uh, a cable provider or anything like that which even Freeform does, which is ridiculous. They have a Netflix deal where their shows are added eight days after the season finale. Um, so fans can binge watch uh, the show or catch up or be introduced to the show long before the next season comes out so they're prepared and they're ready and they, you know... Which is so much better than waiting until two weeks pr uh, prior to the next season, which is ridiculous because then everyone has to cram binge watching 
the show are catching up before the new season on top of working and possibly taking care of kids and everything else, depending on your life situation. <clears throat> so, um, the Freeform should wholeheartedly um, model itself to the T after the CW. Exactly. Replica. Um, I just hope that the same decisions aren't made for Siren that they were for Shadowhunters because Siren is such an amazing show and it's the last and only great show that they have so don't poorly manage it like you did with Shadowhunters which had so much potential and it was a truly good show by the third season so you should have continued it but because you dropped the ball Freeform, the network, dropped the ball. It lost a lot of viewers and ratings and everything else because it didn't have that Netflix deal. It had it everywhere else, but it didn't have it in America for some reason. Um, Siren and Shadowhunters should both be streaming on Netflix. Um, you have time to correct Siren, and so you should at least save yourself that great show because it's the last one that you have and um try not to screw other great shows up like you did with this one like you did with Shadowhunters um <clears throat> so really that's all that I have to say about it um this show I highly I do highly recommend the show to everyone it has every you know a little bit of everything for everyone it has the action the romance the drama the story um <clears throat> it has everything from fairies to werewolves to vampires to warlocks to witches to um shadow hunters obviously to um demons and angels even has Lilith in it so um, it really did go above and beyond to really create this whole other universe um, to really engulf yourself in which I think is the biggest mistake because Freeform mishandled it and I think that the CW would have thrived on such a show it should have been a CW show. <clears throat> Same thing with Siren. There's just so, so much. And I would ha own all three seasons of Shadowhunters on Blu-ray and Siren if they were released through the CW. So, and I would binge watch it on Netflix. Like, I would do both because I'm that kind of person. If I love a show and if I'm that engaged, I'll watch it over and over such as Lucifer, or The Vampire Diaries, or even The 100. I, great shows are great shows, and um, some are more captivating than others, but at the end of the day, um, it's all about the management of the network, because truly and honestly, the cast, the crew, the writers and creators of Shadowhunters is not what failed Shadowhunters. What failed Shadowhunters is the network. The network is the one that dropped the ball on its Netflix deal. The network is the one that dropped the ball on releasing it to home video, so it maximizes your sales and profit. It is the network that failed the show, not the other way around. Um... So we're just going to be perfectly clear and honest about that. So, um, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, like I said, it does have a little bit of everything for everyone. Um, it has comedy, horror, action, the whole nine yards, different mythical creatures. Um, it is based on a book series. Uh, thank the gods they did change some stuff from that they had in the book and everything because some things that were in the book were you know you know there's always room for improvement and that's the good thing about doing it a second or third time is getting it right where others failed or 
changing what didn't work. <clears throat> now, since Shadowhunters ended on Freeform, I do wholeheartedly believe that the CW should pick it up. I know that they won't because they have so many shows on their lineup already. Um, but I wholeheartedly believe that it would be a good investment because they would make their, their profit right back from the sales of the Blu-rays and their Netflix deals anyway. So, um, and they could do so much, so much with the story, especially since they renew their shows for 22 episodes a season. And they really, really do love to service the fans, so they would put their heart and soul into it. And... I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But anyway, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, if you have seen it, let me know what you think about. Um, let me know what you think about the series finale and what you would have done differently with the show and everything. And um, make sure if you like my review make sure you give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until next time have a great day